It's the warm-up for the big number. But the waiting is the hardest part. I feel excited. Like, right now, I'm like jumpy. That's why I'm all jumpy right now. The young people behind all the vibrations are part of Sistema Winnipeg. An orchestral program bringing the classical back to the classroom with a commitment to social change. Normally you'll find them practicing in after-school programs like this one at Elwick School, where students benefit from free instruction and access to instruments they may not otherwise be able to afford. The kids come to learn orchestral music. They learn violin, viola, cello, and now double bass this year, every day for three hours after school. All that hard work is about to pay off as they make their way to the stage at the West End Cultural Centre for all strings considered. They'll share the stage with four other string ensembles, as well as Marie-Claude McDonald, who is up for a Juno for Children's Album of the Year. It's another opportunity to inspire some already good decisions when it comes to music. I used to be a viola, but um, the cellos weren't that quite loud, so they moved me to cello because I was a loud player. I like the violin because the violin and cello, the viola and cello, have a C string, but violin has an E string. And then all of those strings come together, for the most part. I hope they'll take the music away with them. I think it's just going to get them really excited about music and playing and performing, and that's the main thing. Sistema Winnipeg is a shining example of the great music yet to come this week. Their next performance is at the airport where they'll be welcoming some of Canada's biggest stars. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Kim Kasher.